Hi Scorpio family, it's Elle. I hope everybody's doing well. It's early. I am actually just waking up with you. Uh, before we get started guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video. Like, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. Um, I am not doing personal readings. I have addressed two uh, that I do need to get out. They went to my spam and you'll be getting those today for some reason, I don't know, I'm sorry. And I just, last week had kind of a crazy, busy week and didn't, um, wasn't the best about checking my spam. Uh, or I'm not the best about checking spam anyway, but something told me to check it. So anyway, those are coming out, but I am not doing personal readings again until next week. If you can catch me live, I do do live personals, uh, questions. Um, I may go live here a little later this afternoon or this morning, we'll see. I might go and chat with you guys just for a little while because I'm feeling like I need to chat for a little bit today and just hang out with you anyway. Um, so hit that subscribe button, please. Help the channel continue to grow. Like, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, like I said, keep it positive. Um, these are free, re free readings. Any donations are much appreciated, guys. Um, Many of you guys know that I am out of work for the next few months. Um, I'm going through chemotherapy. Um, one of the therapies is just more intense and I have to wait a few months. One of them I can go back to work on, um, but the combination at the moment, I cannot. Um, so I'll be out of work for the next few months. I have a GoFundMe link in the description box below if anybody would like to donate. I am a single mom, um, and so anything would help our little family out. Anything is much appreciated. Um, it is already kind of scary, stressful times. You guys have been so there for me. I get teary-eyed every, teary every time I talk about it. Um, and I'm so, so, so very grateful because um, I'm not sure where I'd be right now if it wasn't for you guys. We don't have family here. Um, and uh, <sighs> I don't have anybody to kind of lean on for support and so um in the middle of all this stuff and, and so anyway that uh that information is in the description box below I do have a GoFundMe link um and I do accept Venmo and Cash App and again thank you uh to anybody that's made a donation little or big um there was another big one recently you guys are just so amazing and literally we wouldn't have a roof over our head at the moment if it wasn't for our bills paid or food on the table if it wasn't for those donations so it is really that important for us so thank you so much um i'm interested in seeing what messages come out today guys um sorry i am literally like just eating up getting up with you um i know that it's from venus retrograde so things are a little I feel bumpy anyway. They've been a little bumpy already for me for the past week, but um, emotionally, you know, changes. I've been seeing five, five, five. I'm trying to eat my oatmeal. <laughs> a lot of things changing. Look, siren. So again, in some situations, it's like an emergency. It's an it's something that maybe spirits have been trying to wake you up. There needs to be a change that needs to be made. For me, you know. I just feel like I've been on this roller coaster of emotions with what I've been going through with, you know, having to do chemo again and adjust to my life. I'm going to get teary eyed if I talk about it, but you know, I had an emotionally uplifting week last week and then I come home to get dumped basically. Um, and that was kind of heartbreaking in itself, but apparently, um, the person or my partner that I've been dealing with has been having, I think it's too real for them to deal with, you know, what I've been going through. I think, um, it's too real of a situation for this person to stick around. I think they maybe thought they were going to try to, uh, maybe they felt guilty. I don't know, but, uh, you know, come to find out, I get a message, you know, uh, and maybe I was too open on the internet when sometimes that happens and then you discover you're not the only person, right? Involved in this, in this situation. And I had some, I had some, you know, I'm not a dummy, I'm a Scorpio, and so as soon as I went more public about our relationship, there it was, boom, you know, uh, big problem. So, <laughs> we all go through it, guys. Nobody's life is perfect, right? Um, 
So I'm interested in seeing what messages come out today. Um, I'm trying to woosaw and get into a, in a, in a better place anyway. So I just, I can't. Women are just not like that. I'm sorry to all the men out there. I know there's some good men out there that wouldn't do that, but I'm just like, I cannot see myself loving someone, having a connection with someone, someone going through chemo and just kind of falling off saying, I'm not feeling it anymore. You know, it's too hard. And uh, there are people out like, it just, I don't need to beat myself up, I guess, about feeling like I feel stupid, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> but the reason I'm sharing it is because like, um, I'm very transparent. So, you know, if I do get missing, I am kind of going through chemotherapy, some hard stuff. I'm trying not to get missing. I'm trying to stay focused, but not only am I going through some hard stuff physically, I'm kind of going through some hard stuff emotionally right now too. So, you know, if I do get missing a day or two right now at the moment, you guys know what's up. Um, let's go ahead and get into the message. <laughs> So some of you might be going through situations where, you know, um, I confronted this person about, you know, finding uh, balayage shampoo in their uh, shower after I got home. This person is bald and has no hair, right? And so it turned into a gaslighting situation where, oh, I just don't think it's working out, you know, or I'm not feeling it anymore because, you know, I have confronted a situation where... You know somebody was supposed to have been faithful to me and now i'm the bad guy which maybe somebody needs to hear this today it's like i know my side of the street is clean i know i uh didn't cheat i stayed committed in a relationship for nine months um even when this person uh and, and i had you know separations for a couple of months at a time um just because of distance so you know, at least I know my side of the street is clean karmically. And I was going to post a video yesterday because I kept seeing 999 and 666, which means redistribution of energy. And this is before the, this happened, right? It was almost like spirit giving me a message. Um, and 999 means karma, but a good side of karma, like being on the good side of karma. So if you're in a situation where you know that you've been committed, that you know that you gave somebody your all, that you know that you did everything that you could in a situation to make it work, um, and it didn't, you know, don't beat yourself up about it, right? You know, um, let's go ahead and get into the message and see what's going on, Scorpio, because I don't want my energy... Uh, to bleed over too much into the collective message either in that regard but you know maybe there might be some other Scorpios going through some challenges this morning as well um, spirit angels ancestors guides please help me provide Scorpio sun moon rising with any messages you would like for them to receive also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot wealth okay so some of you might have a situation coming through Scorpio where there could be a windfall of money coming your way. Who doesn't like to hear that? I know I could use a little bit. Um, I like that message. Let's see what other messages do we have in regards to this reading. New creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start with the sunrise. So again, connected to new beginnings, you've got wealth. Okay, so abundance. So you know, the sunrise to me is kind of like that card, the sun card in the deck, right? The trump of the deck, swinging on an M and F, M F, and we got to be careful with YouTube lately. It's been very sensitive. Um, uh, swinging on an M F, uh, on um, uh, an M F, and I can't even say it right without cussing. Uh, ray of sunshine. So a fresh start, Scorpio. There's a fresh start here, but with this is kind of connected to abundance. So maybe you've been connected to a situation where there's something that's lowering your vibration, um, where, you know, um, and I know for me, like I can get in the situation where, yeah, if you're stuck in a connection where, you know, there's lower vibrational things going on, where you're being put in third party situations, where you're being, you know, um, situations are happening where you're being put in a lower vibration, it can affect your money. You know, it can affect abundance. So, 
Um, let's see what other messages we do have going on in regards to this reading. The month of October could be significant. Okay, so um, a Libra and then beware of self delusion. So somebody with Libra placements, spirit could be really asking you to be aware of some type of self delusional thinking right now that could be illusionary obstacles, problems that you're causing for yourself. Um, you know, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Success assured with good plans and hard work ahead with the egg. So this could also be, you know, something that is paying off by the time you get to Libra season. Sorry, I'm going to have another bite. I'm hungry. All right, so... What other messages do we have for Scorpio? I just saw see the patterns too. So for some of you, especially in situations, like for me in this situation, I knew I know that I like could have seen I've there have been patterns, right? There's been back and forth, there's been patterns. And um the reason I'm feeling compelled to talk about it, somebody else needs to hear this today too, right? There's been there's been red flags, there's been patterns, there's been back and forth, there's been a hot and cold, there's been I love you, I hate you, right? There's been, you know, there could even be addictions and toxic things that I don't even know about, right? So, um, I feel like Spirit is saying there's a new creative, beware of lying to yourself here in a situation. By Libra season, there is going to be a change with money. You've got new ventures, a fresh start here coming your way. Tell your story. So there's something too about like not needing to be quiet going on here too. So if there's something going on in your life, Scorpio, I feel like this is spirit saying, you know, tell your story. Don't be quiet about it. That's why I tell mine because I feel like it's going to help someone else, right? So, you know, uh, that's why I'm, I've been transparent about my, you know, um, the C word journey and my chemotherapy treatments and all that stuff. You know, I had somebody say some heartbreaking stuff the other morning, you know, um, when I was out of town, that was just like, you know, uh, basically saying, you know, oh, you're lying about being, you know, God, who would lie about what I'm going through? I have no clue. You'd be a horrible person. But, um, uh, basically saying that I needed to find a new identity and, or basically, you know, I needed help for lying about because I wasn't missing my hair. And, you know, unfortunately this person is misinformed because the type of cancer I had, um, you know, not everybody loses their hair with a cocktail of chemotherapy that I'm on. And that's, that's just a fact you can research it. And so, you know, um, there's a lot of ignorance and I feel like maybe this is why there needs to be, you know, uh, part of your story needs to be told in the situation, Scorpio. I'm not saying I'm, that was an ignorant comment, but I feel like for some of you, you could be facing a lot of ignorant or ignorant people here in a situation. There's something that needs to be brought to the light. Know your labels, know who you are. The birds are going crazy. I don't know if you can hear it, but they just started doing this as soon as I opened the window. Um, and this is all about being true to yourself, right? So it's again, it's like knowing when, trusting those inner, like for me, it's like, I know I should have trusted my intuition again, but when you love somebody, you love somebody, right? And it's like, you go against your intuition and, or you, you want to believe the best in somebody, or you want to believe in somebody. But again, this is knowing your label, sticking to it. Listen to how crazy they're going. It's like, you know, um, being true to yourself is the biggest message that I'm getting right now, right? So, you know, if somebody isn't going to show you love and respect, you know, stand up for yourself, right? Um, don't put up with crap. Um, 
I got put in a situation where I feel like, you know, honestly, my gut uh, feeling is somebody found out that I was there when I was there and my time got cut short. I got dropped off at the airport five hours earlier than normal. I found women's shampoo in the shower. It was uh, not a fun experience, especially for somebody that's going through what I'm going through. So I'm not even sure if this person has any humility at all in their behavior or anything or feels anything about what they do or how they treat people but i feel like this is why it's important right it's like narcissist behavior people like this don't care and i feel like this is why it's important to tell my story this morning so it'll help someone else right know your labels know what you'll put up with know what you'll stand for um purpose i know what i'm here to do and for some of you you could simply be being disconnected from connections and people where they are simply not connected to your purpose like you know what you're here listen to these birds going crazy it's like i feel like this is a big message look and both of these are birds here right um there's something that's connected to your purpose that maybe you know you could be stepping away from a connection or third party situation where you know this this is a situation that's toxic this is something that has no connection to your purpose um or it will not be you know you will not be going in a direction that will be fulfilling your purpose right so what other messages do we have for scorpio in regards to this reading relationships yeah i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good right so it's again it's like spirit saying look you know this is needing to affirm it take a snapshot i know i need to right and just keep this in mind and not beat yourself up about it right it's like i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good you know somebody said something to me yesterday that was like you're beautiful you know even though you're going through chemotherapy it's not like you know nobody would you know you know, I got down on myself because it was just kind of like going through what I'm going through. It's like, you know, I could have used some, even though we were like miles apart, some sort of like support, support. And this person wasn't able to give that to me. And that really hurts. Right. And, you know, I had a friend like say, look, look, it's going to be over before you know it. And honestly, you're such a good person and such a beautiful person that it's not like, you know, somebody couldn't see these things in you anyway and still want to be there for you now. It's just you're choosing the wrong person or you're putting your, you know, energy into, you know, somebody that's not capable um, or you have been. And, and that's the part that you have to forgive yourself for, right? So, um so for some of you, this is this is, is is exactly that. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Um, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? So it's affirming that, you know, affirming moving forward. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to tell my story. I'm going to help maybe be of service in some way, shape, or form. Um, I'm attracted to those who serve my higher good moving forward, right? Moving forward, I'm going to be attracted to those who actually serve my higher good, who care about, you know, my well-being. Um, you know, the sad part about it is this person is stuck in party, party, party mode. You know, when I got there, it was like I couldn't have fun with this person because life got too real. And, you know, this person is older than me, you know, and, and, and so it's just kind of like, you know, is that a situation that's going to serve my higher good right now in my life? Hell no. Is it really a, any situation at a certain age that's going to serve anybody's higher good, you know, like that after a certain age? Probably not, right? So, you know, for me, it is a wake up call for some of you. I feel like, again, tell your story is here. And I feel like that's why I needed or needing to tell my story here. Um, Divine Grace, the Six of Pentacles. Um, <laughs> for some of you that are really mad about a situation, I'm giggling because I'm there. I'm right there with you, right? It's like, um, you could feel like, you know, there's been a big slap in the face, but this is the energy of, you know, with the six of pentacles, this is, you know, divine grace, you know, spirit giving you divine grace, giving you another chance and a new, new direction, but also showing up and helping cure rage, Right. Um, so if there's something going on that's actually triggering you to the point of feeling angry, to the point of wanting to be reactive and act out, this is spirit helping you, you know, simmer the F down. Right. So I like that that's coming out. 
certainly resonates with me. Um, Page of Swords. Yeah, there's refuge here with the divine. Sorry, it's trash day here and I've got my window open. Um, we might have to wait a second. Okay. Truth and justice in a situation coming out. So for some of you where you've really been stuck in your head in a situation, it's like finally truth and justice in a situation coming out. Um, you know, I begged and begged and begged for closure. And I was not given that from a 46 year old man. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, can you give me closure, please? I deserve closure in this situation. I deserve a better explanation than I'm just not feeling this, you know, um, after being totally treated one way and then the next day, you know, I'm no idiot. I know what's going on. Um, and if I don't, you know, maybe this person is having some kind of struggling with some kind of issue that's, I don't know, fear of commitment, whatever it might be though, there's the truth and justice in a situation where you've been really caught up in your head, right? So for me, that resonates. It's just kind of like uh, protection from enemies and the ones that would steal fortune from you. So there could be an element in a situation for some of you where you're confused about a lot of things that are going on, but maybe you didn't even see, you know, um, maybe this obsession here was blocking or a distraction here in a different situation there's being refuge here there's refuge here being brought to you in a situation um and truth coming out this is truth and justice in a situation that's really had you stuck in your head archangel michael overcoming adversity, success, and conflict. And I call on Archangel Michael every single day. We've already done it in this reading today, so I like that this is coming out. This is an Archangel stepping up, showing up, you know, whatever challenges that you may be facing, there's perseverance and saying, don't give up, move forward, Scorpio. You know, get in this affirming energy, right? It's like, I know what I deserve, right? For me, it's kind of like, It's different for some of you guys, you know, if you're not going through a health situation, you know, it'll be easier to kind of pick yourself back up and like get back out there. For me, it's hitting harder because it's like, wow, you know, this is a time where I really needed someone. Um, but I do feel like, you know, for me on a personal level, you know, this reading is really resonating. It's like persevere, success and conflict are going to overcome adversity. Here's Archangel Michael. Um, and it says, who is like God, right? So it's like kind of being in this energy of, you know, loving and releasing, um, moving forward. Um, you know, maybe we can't understand why people do things that hurt us really bad um, in the moment, but you can forgive and release and disconnect, right? And so um, Let's pull a card here. Ooh, see, yeah. Somebody's dealing with some addictions here, some toxic. It could be sexual addictions, uh, uh, drug addictions. And I just saw the five of five of pinnacles and leaving somebody out in the cold because of it. So somebody's definitely dealing with an addiction or addictive, and I just saw the seven of wands. You need to protect your energy. So somebody's definitely going through whoever this message is for today, some addictions here or some type of toxic connections or toxic change to something where you're going to need to protect your energy anyway. And maybe this is why this is why Archangel Michael is kind of helping you overcome adversity and push you into a different direction where there needs to be here. It's like there needs to be, if you've been suffering here and feeling like, well, there's no overflow of abundance, things are lacking. Well, it could be because there's been, you've been stuck in a lower vibration. This eight of swords energy being obsessed being stuck here in this energy of you know why am I not getting the truth or what's going on here in a situation is a low vibration you know that eight of swords that obsession it's 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 like we are what we think so we're ending up in this like circle of something that's not it's stagnant energy right it's energy that's not moving forward when this is what we want to be doing here with the chariot energy okay so what other messages do we have the King of Pentacles flew out on the floor. <laughs> I know that resonates for me because I've been dealing with the Taurus. Um, but again, 
King of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Cups, Scorpio. What else? Spirit. And the Four of Cups. So a situation here where you're shocked. There's surprise here. There was a lot of love and all of a sudden there's here a huge rejection. Um, so for some of you, it's just crazy how when the cards come out, sometimes it's like, oh my God. Spirit, why are you telling my life too? But, you know, I know I'm not the only Scorpio going through this. So, you know, there could have been a new relationship or situation here where it was like, bam, you know, unexpected. I'm surprised. There's a big surprise here about something and it not working out. Um, but what you're not seeing here is, you know, when this person, and just be careful about overindulging right now too, um, and this energy uh, of feeling like, you know, sad about a situation or dealing with rejection in a situation because this person isn't seeing these opportunities. He's stuck in this cup. He's drinking his face off, right? Some, you know, be careful about, you know, not turning to, you know, some type of something being under the influence of something in order to deal with something um, because you're missing some opportunities. There are other opportunities there. So there could be a missed opportunity because, you know, you're, you're kind of stuck in this energy of, well, I'm not willing to see past the clouds here in this situation. Um, what else can you tell us? Somebody feels foolish right now um, and they're probably not willing to really come for walking away yeah or they're going to be and they're not really um eight of swords they're really stuck in their head about some of the decisions that they've made lately or did making what other messages do we have in regards to this reading nine of swords yeah there's a lot of anxiety behind something that has to do with greed or of pentacles, you know, somebody has been greedy. This doesn't necessarily have to mean, you know, um, the four of pentacles doesn't necessarily have to mean, you know, financial greed. It can mean greed in any way, shape or form. Um, and one of my decks, I think it's the Santa Morta deck. It's, uh, she's, uh, like basically bridezilla in that deck, right? Greedy. She's got these, like, it's like a bridezilla that's got these like husband or or men dressed up in tuxedos that she's placing in this like small, tiny little city and she's huge, right? It's like control, greed. Uh, there could be somebody having a lot of anxiety here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, in regards to this, or this is how you felt here in regards to this situation. Um, you know, and that's not a vibration that anybody really needs to be living in anyway. Yeah, there's definitely communication or there will be communication possibly coming in in regards to this situation, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles is, you know, I'm not going to pick it up, but I do promise that's what it is. Because there has been time invested in the situation, but there's a third party here with the Three of Swords. No doubt about it. There's been a third party in the situation. There's been lies in the situation because there's been distance here for some of you. Wow. This is a soulmate connection, the Two of Cups. And I feel like for some of you, maybe that's why there might be a lot of pain possibly associated with something here um, in regards to whatever this message might be. The Three of Swords is a heartbreaking communication. This could also be Eight of Wands, Three of Swords, communication here. You're at a distance. There's heartbreaking communication currently going on. Um, interfering energies. Somebody, you know, having a lot to say in the situation. Maybe your person could be getting advice from people or talking to people that are kind of interfering in a sense where they're giving them advice because they have ulterior motives. Maybe they have interest in this person, right? Or, you know, something of that nature, Scorpio. Um, let me get a hair clip. My hair is wet and like, I just got out of the shower not too long ago. Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody's really angry right now about a situation where there's definitely been some level of rejection. Um, and we've got the uh, masculine Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So it could be involving, involving uh, a masculine Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy.
There's the energy of needing to really take a time out. I just saw that time and space, which is basically speaking of needing to pray, needing to meditate, needing to take a time out and really evaluate, reevaluate a situation, Scorpio. Yeah, because we've got the six of wands. It's like wealth here, moving forward, getting out of the stuck energy as much as it sucks right now. It's like there's so much abundance coming your way. Right. So it's like in order to like receive this gift, there needs to be a release of whatever this toxic shit is. Look, these two cards were hidden in the deck. Somebody's been indecisive and unwilling to make a decision. That's for sure. There's a third party situation here. Somebody was unwilling to make a decision. Shit hit the fan here. Um, there's a review and a favorable assessment of the facts here. But this is judgment. This is finally somebody making a decision okay you didn't want to make a decision while well, i'm making a decision for me or you don't want to tell the truth here well you know i'm not playing your game anymore this is time to move forward in a new direction scorpio um and yes it might hurt but i feel like for some of you it's just kind of like this heartbreak right here is not worth what it can do to your physical health trust me because i know i've been in situations where you know um and this is another reason why this is bothering me in my own personal life too it's just like i know that i can't put myself in situations where it's going to emotionally affect me in a way that is 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 very emotionally traumatic you know because of just what i'm going through and how sensitive i am and not wanting to trigger anything with a negative emotion so it's like i i know i need a partner that's going to love and respect that and be there for me too so i have to love myself enough to say okay i need to make a favorable assessment of the facts here am i being treated in a way that is conducive to this and is you know somebody wanting the best for me you know is it time for me to move in a new right in new direction it's trusting the process because there is success here in abundance scorpio um you have a very intense, attractive energy. It's like the energy of your vibration, no matter what, you know, you walk into a room and you demand energy, you demand, you know, um, all eyes on you kind of energy. So what other messages do we have in regards to this reading, Scorpio or Scorpio? I'm transparent about it too because I'm human too. We all go through it. No tarot reader on on YouTube is perfect and doesn't have relationship problems, right? It's it's all about energy. It's all about you know learning. It's all we're never done learning. We're never done, um, you know. And we have to be careful about you know understanding why what it is about what we haven't healed within ourselves. Why we're attracting situations, people, places, and things that are still hurting us in ways where we are unhealed or we're dealing with situations where for me it's about detachment right it's it's for this is a big lesson and and learning to detach in a healthy way and say you know what it's okay you know it's not okay to be treated like shit but i love and release i won't allow you to hurt me like that anymore but i'm releasing with love that's the biggest message that you know that i can give somebody right now with this message right so moving forward Page of Cups. You've got a new person entering your life. Um, this person could be a friend, but this is a relationship that's going to be a beginning of a new phase. There's also this energy of heightened senses, heightened psychic abilities. So again, whatever you're going through, it's like, trust it. Like this is because like spirit wants you to wake up. Spirit wants you to wake up and see the signs, right? Understand that, like, don't be blind anymore. Don't be blinded by the D or the V or whatever it might be, right? Um, there is this energy of um, a very friendly energy here. This is a new person coming into your life, whether it's a friend or a lover. Um, with a page of cups, that's, you know, somebody could be a little bit younger than you, doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, what other messages can you tell us in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Page of Pentacles. Good news, money coming your way too. So if you've been worried about money, again, I feel like there could be, it's, it's a sign. There's communication here. It's like, okay, well, you know, understand when you're letting go of this low vibration or this frequency that this situation might have been putting you in, um, there's going to be a shift with money, abundance in your life. Um Yeah, Four of Cups, the Moon card. Uh, for some of you, you're realizing uh, somebody could have been in a commitment here. 
uh, with the Four of Cups, the Moon card, and the Ten of Pentacles coming out, either in a commitment already or even possibly married. Um, what's interesting is I did get readings on this person, I'm not going to lie, that I had been involved with and I had several people tell me that he was either, you know, um, in some type of a marriage still or um, commitment, but not. And some just, you know very hard energy but like the signs were there not only within my heart but like um you know other people <laughs> that were intuitive and, and sharing you know gifts with me and their interpretation of when I did get a reading on the situation when we were having challenging times so uh for for some of you this is exactly what's going on it's like you know you're the moon card being exposed a rejection here because of some type of commitment here uh, there is somebody in inner energy of possibly building on, on success somewhere else um, or with someone else. Um, yeah, the Knight of Wands. Somebody has definitely been a player in a situation. Page of Swords. This is somebody who acts on impulse and doesn't think. Um, there's the Page of Wands again, right? So it's again, it's like running here, player twice. You know, Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, acting on impulse, new beginning, running in a different direction always, never satisfied. This is why this person is in, in de decisive energy. And I just feel like you're finally, you know, again, for some of you seeing something, somebody's spirit showing you something or something is literally happening. Like, boom, here's the tower, Scorpio. It's time to wake up. <laughs> right? Um, it's time to get angry with this rejection this time and not accept the bullshit back, right? Um, into your life. What other messages do we have in regards to this reading? Six of Pentacles. Redistribution of energy. What else? The devil. Because you're dealing with a situation that's extremely toxic and unhealthy and it's time to move on. All right. I love you guys. I hope this message was helpful for someone. I'm definitely going to get back on and do another one because I feel like this was definitely, well, you know, intense for many reasons, but, um, and do a live today until next time. Lots of love and light. Again, if you would like to, um, purchase a personal reading, that information is in the description. I mean, not purchase a personal reading, but, uh, if you would like to donate that information is in the description box below. Bye.